in this video we will discuss about span of a set of vectors so before starting this uh, let me recall you uh, some stuff which we have already discussed uh, i am talking about uh, the linear combination of uh, vectors suppose uh, if you have any element w in a vector space v and suppose if you have uh, some vectors uh, in that vector space for example v1 v2 and vr they are some vectors in v then we say that this w is said to be a linear combination of these vectors if we can write down this w as where uh, these c1 c2 cr are some scalars so if we are able to find uh, these coefficients or scalars then we can say that this w is the linear combination of these vectors uh, if you remember we, uh, we also proved that all the possible linear combinations of uh, the vectors it forms a vector subspace and also this is the smallest subspace containing all these vectors all these things we have already discussed in our previous lectures so now let us begin with the definition of span of a set of vectors So the subspace of a vector space V which is formed from all possible linear combinations of the vectors in a non empty set S is called as the span of the set of vectors S. And we say that the vectors in S span uh, that subspace. So let me uh, elaborate uh, this definition. Suppose uh, you have a set S having elements for example v1 v2 vn so if we take all the possible linear combinations of these vectors then we know that it is a subspace then that subspace is called as the span of s or sometimes we write it by this notation and we say that uh, these vectors v1 v2 vn these are spanning this subspace okay so uh, let us see the example the standard unit vectors in r3 so we know that uh, we have three standard unit vectors in r3 i j and k which is given by so these vectors span uh, the whole R3. So if we have to check that uh, any set of vectors is spanning a set, so what we have to do? Just take any arbitrary element from that set and uh, try to write down as the linear combination of the given elements. because v is in r3 so it, uh, it have uh, triples and we know that it can also be written as so you see here we take any vector in the set and we express it as the linear combination of the vectors so we can say that this is standard unit vectors span this set whole set r3 so this is the trivial example so first let us uh, take some questions on linear combinations so we have to check that whether these uh, vectors w1 and w2 can be written as the linear combinations of the vectors v1 
and v2 suppose we have uh, two vectors uh, v1 and v2 then we have to check that this vector w1 is the linear combination of this v1 and v2 and this w2 is a linear combination of v1 and v2 or not so for this what we have to do so it is very easy if we can write down uh, this uh, w as uh, the linear combination of uh, the vectors v1 and v2 then we can express it as so if we can uh, find the values of c1 and c2 then we are done and if we are unable to find the values of c1 and c2 satisfying uh, this condition then we will say that uh, this w cannot be written as the linear combination of the vectors v1 and v2 so now uh, in this equation put the values of w1 v1 and v2 so w1 is given as v1 is given as 1 minus 3 2 and v2 is given as 1 0 minus 4 now do the multiplication just simplify them uh, we know that if uh, two vectors are equal only when their corresponding components are equal so first component equal to first second component equal to second component and this third component equals to this third component so we will have these three equations so from here the value of c1 will comes out to be minus 2 and if you put this value of c1 in this equation you will get c2 as so you can verify the third equation that it is satisfying or not so we get c2 as 3 c1 as minus 2 now put these two values in this equation so that uh, you have your verification so we get this minus 16 that means this c1 and c2 are uh, correct so this w that means you can write down this w1 as minus 2 v1 plus 3 v2 that means we can write down w as the linear combination of the vectors v1 and v2 now we have to check that this w2 is a linear combination of v1 and v2 or not so again follow the same step if w can be written w2 can be written as the linear combination of the vectors v1 and v2 so if we are able to find the values of c1 and c2 then we are done otherwise a w2 is not a linear combination so what you do just put the values of uh, these vectors in this equation and try to solve them for finding the values of c1 and c2 so two vectors are equal only when their corresponding components are equal So from here the value of c1 comes out to be 3 and if you put this value of c1 in this equation you will get the value of c2 as 0 now put these two values in this equation to check that it is correct or not it comes out to be minus 2 so it is 6 is equal to minus 2 so this is not true that means these two values are not satisfying all these conditions that means we cannot find the values of c1 and c2 satisfying this equation so we can say that this w is not a linear combination of v1 and v2 so let us take another example uh, suppose we have a vector space uh, m22 you know that what is m22 m22 is the vector space of all 2 by 2 matrices we take uh, any vector w in m22 which is uh, given by
So we have to show that uh, this element W can be written as the linear combination of the vectors A, B and C. So uh, the same uh, steps are there if we can write down any element in a vector space as uh, the linear combination of other vectors in that uh, vector space. So uh, if we are able to find some scalars C1, C2, C3 such that this W satisfy this equation so if we are able to find the values of c1 c2 and c3 then we can say that this w can be written as the linear combination of these elements now put the values of w a b and c from here just multiply them and uh, add them you will get we know that two matrices are equal only when their corresponding components are equal so we have Simplify them, it is very easy. So multiply equation 4 by minus 2 and add in equation 2, you will get and equation 3 is add them, you will get. So put this value of C3 in equation 1 or use C3 in equation 3 we will get so you can verify that these values of C1, C2 and C3 they are satisfied by all these equations so we can write down W as the linear combination of these vectors C1A plus C2B plus C3 is minus C. So that means the book can be written as the linear combination of these matrices. Now we will see with the help of an example that if we have a set of vectors in R3, then we will determine whether the ve these vectors span the whole vector space or not. So before attempting any example of it, just let me give you a result of system of linear equation. So if you have a system of linear equation AX is equal to B. So this system of linear equation is consistent if and only if its determinant is non-zero. So we have already discussed how to find uh, the determinant of a matrix and we have already discussed this in our uh, previous video. So if you are interested, you can visit them, but we will use this result. So consistent means this system of linear equation has a solution. So we have to determine that these vectors V1, V2 and V3 span the whole vector space R3 or not. So for checking that these vectors are spanning the vector space R3, what we have to do? Take any element in R3, any random element. Let me take uh, and if we are able to show that that element can be expressed as the linear combination of these vectors, then uh, we are done. So for this, take any element in R3. Such that this B can be written as the linear combination of the vectors v1, v2 and v3 where these c1, c2 and c3 are scalars whose values are to be determined. So here we don't need to find these values. Uh, we will be done if uh, we are able to know that uh, their value exists.
okay so what we have to do just put the values of uh, these vectors b v1 v2 and v3 two vectors are equal only when their corresponding components are equal so we have uh, this system of linear equation uh, where this c1 c2 and c3 are uh, the unknowns that means uh, its values we have to uh, these values uh, we have to find out so uh, as I told you that if we have a system of linear equation ax is equal to b then uh, this system of linear equation is consistent consistent means it has a solution so in this case if it has it is consistent that means the values of c1 and c2 uh, c1 c2 and c3 we can find these values so if we have a system of linear equation ax is equal to b then this system of linear equation is consistent if and only if its coefficient matrix a has a non zero determinant if we are able to find uh, the determinant then we are done so here we have uh, the coefficient matrix a as so if this coefficient matrix has a non zero determinant uh, then uh, we are done so if you find the determinant of this matrix it will comes out to be minus 4 that means this is non zero so uh, you can check this video for finding the determinant uh, you can uh, check it out so determinant is non-zero that means uh, this system of linear equation is uh, consistent so it means that this set of vectors v1 v2 v3 span of this is our r3 the question is done here so if you see that what were the vectors so if you check this coefficient matrix you can see the relation very easily this is your vector v1 v2 and this is v3 so uh, next time if uh, you have to find or if you have to see that a given uh, set of vectors is, is spanning a given vector space so what you have to do is to, uh, put those vectors as the column of a matrix and find its determinant if it is a square matrix okay so find the determinant if determinant is non-zero then the given uh, set of vectors span uh, the whole r3 for example if we have vectors v1 as if we have to check that these uh, three vectors span r3 or not so what you do just form a matrix of these column vectors v1 first column v2 second column v3 third column now find the determinant if you solve it determinant comes out to be zero that means uh, these vectors does not span r3 so uh, you can use this trick uh, if you have to solve MCQ so it can save your time.